Round two on Neo Requiem. Here is Bisu at 9 o'clock. Green Protoss. And over at uh, 6 o'clock is the yellow Zergs of Calm. You know, uh, looking at uh, Calm's face at the, at the end of that uh, second round, he kind of had that look of, huh? okay, you got me. And look at this. Fan voting as to who would win this 81% in favor of Bisu. 81% to 19 of Com. So certainly uh, not a whole lot of confidence in Com, despite the fact that he actually has the better record, 2-1 uh, to head-to-head -head with uh, Bisu. Bisu again with a, yeah, a ho-hum sort of look. Doesn't look too concerned. Tom actually looks a little calmer, <laughs> part of the pun, in uh, this particular round compared to uh, the previous round. Tom going to a nine pool with the drone. And this time, Bisu going with uh, his gateway with the pylon on the main. So he's going to go uh, with the zealots early on rather than... Uh, building up uh, on cannons as he did the uh, last round. Beast going with a different approach. Calm going for pretty much the exact same build that he went with in uh, round one. Calm is going to uh, continue on with the uh, Vespian gas like he did last time while uh, Beast is going for a double gateway formation. Looks like we're going to have the uh, six Zerglings out first for uh, Calm. And Bisu having a look. And the Zerglings there to chase the probe away. Probes coming out with the Zealot. As it's being chased around. Eight Zerglings for Com. Bisu blocking off his ramp, making sure that Com doesn't uh, get in for a look, or worse yet, uh, knocking off some easy probes. Bisu waiting to get his uh, Zealot count up before he decides to let uh, him attack and uh, look at this Calm is actually going to uh, go to a lair so uh, in all likeliness he's going to go for uh, Mutalisks first this time and considering the fact that uh, Bisu's already produced uh, three Zealots he might be in some trouble if uh, he keeps that information locked up long enough Bisu doing everything he can to keep that probe alive. Oh no, look at this. I guess he's going to go for Lurkers. My mistake. He's going to a fast Lurker build by the looks of it. Usually when you go for fast Lurkers, you're going to do the uh, the lair first ASAP. And then you usually start up the uh, den right as uh, you reach the midway point of the lair. Which uh, does appear to be what uh, Com has done. Bisu going to the Stargate after going with the double gate formation. Com's probably uh, Com's upgrading to uh, Lurkers right now. You've got to think. Stargate for Bisu. Nothing unusual about that. One Dragoon out for Bisu. Gonna have its free picks at the uh, Overlord. Tom's gonna realize that there's nothing unusual on uh, Bisu's base. He'll have seen everything there. Probably He should have seen the uh, Stargate as well. And you know, the fact that Bisu does not have any cannons, I don't think he's even made a forge yet. Uh, no robotics facility for uh, Observer. 
Um, if if uh, he does make some lurkers, Bisu could really be in a lot of trouble in this uh, game here. Nine Zealots and one Dragoon out right now. And the Corsair now going to have a look. And he's going to see what's going on. He should know. He should know that uh, Com is going to have lurkers. There's the forge now. So he does have the forge being built. The question is, how much damage is uh, Com going to be able to do with his lurkers? And will he be able to get the lurkers into the main? He's lost an overlord, so his uh, unit count is down. The lurkers are out. Let's see if he can get inside or not. It all comes down to whether he can get those lurkers in. One cannon is being built, but can he get in? He's got a, he's got a micro a lurker in there. He's got to use those zerglings and micro them in before that cannon is built. One lurker on the main to combat that, that uh, zealot. He's got to get that lurker down. He's lost a lurker. And he can't get in. Oh boy, look at that. Bisu doing everything he can to keep those lurkers from getting in. What an amazing play there by Bisu. Some great micro, but he's going to try to go around the backside. He's going to make it around the backside. He's got to get behind that Stargate. He gets down. He'll do some damage. Two more lurkers. One down, but one gets through. How much damage is he going to be able to get done with this lurker? And that is going to slow down Bisu a ton. He does get the lurker in. Now, this is the sign of a good player. And when I say this, I mean if Bisu can do something about those lurkers there. Will this be GG or is Bisu going to find a way to get rid of those lurkers? No, it is GG. GG, so Calm does take round two indeed. Going for the fast lurker play. It worked out perfect in that Bisu was not building cannons on his base. He went for a double gateway formation. Calm went for the exact formation that uh, <laughs> counters that. And what a play there. Bisu doing everything he could to keep those lurkers from getting into the main. But uh, somehow they found their way in regardless. Calm able to get them around past the cannons. And he takes this second round. We're going to a third and deciding round. Great play there by, uh, by Calm. I mean, I said uh, that it all comes down to whether or not those can get in. Uh, Bisu was not making the cannons. Um, the forge came a little bit late. The cannon came late, and he only built one. If he was able to get the two cannons up right exactly where he had the first one, he might have been able to uh, prevent those uh, lurkers from getting around. But, uh, you know, a, a, a valiant effort by Bisu. Those, uh, those zealots uh, holding off the lurkers from getting in from the first attempt. But uh, when they eventually did get through, uh, the one cannon wasn't enough to uh, keep those lurkers um, out and eventually was able to get to the backside. So, uh, Com does even it up to uh, one game apiece. And the third match is going to be Medusa.